I read on Facebook today, a young lady says, I'm tired of every day there's new bad news. Because they've already felt that way with COVID, then you add Hurricane Laura, Hurricane Delta. These people are hurting. Lake Charles, Louisiana, I've been here in my entire life. Been through three hurricanes so far. Laura being the worst of all, by far. This part of the uh, kitchen had collapsed in. Then we come through here. And when I opened this, this had a pocket door. There was a tree in my living room. Everything was just wet. It hit Lake Charles really bad. It was like a bomb went off here. Uh, everybody's tired. Everybody's tired. Tired, worn down. The whole house was shaking. Everything was rumbling. I had wind gusts at 186, and the next storm was Delta, and uh, a lot of tarps were blown off, a lot of water intrusion. We just didn't need another storm that soon. I've been in this community for 20 years. This is a beautiful community of beautiful people. Here's my neighbor here. She came. She didn't have very much damage, but she's over there helping me get my house. We need volunteers. You look around and you see people that you know and love and their homes are destroyed. They're living in tents. Our prayer right now is that they will see Jesus through us and they do not lose hope. We have plenty of volunteer opportunities here at Samaritan's Purse in Southwest Louisiana. This location is in Lake Charles at South Street Baptist Church. We are also in DeRitter, along with Jennings and De Quincey, Louisiana. We encourage individuals, groups, and churches to come out and volunteer with us. This week, we have a team with World Race Volunteering. Adventures and Missions has a program called the World Race and I am part of the program called Gap Year, which sends out ages 17 to about 21 all over the world. With COVID, we kind of had to rearrange. By the blessing of the Lord, we got to be here. Right now, I am in Berlin's house. We're gutting the house completely right now, so you can hear hammering. We're taking out nails. We're taking apart the kitchen, the stove, the sink. We're taking all the drywall out. I thank God. In, in Samaritan Purse, y'all brought many tears to my eyes when y'all showed up, many tears. And I mean, I said, y'all angels come in here. Just as we love because we were first loved, um, I want to bless people because I was first blessed. This has been like a dream of mine come true. Ever since I was younger, I've always just desired so much to do disaster relief missions. And so, yeah, literally a dream come true. It's cool that we get to do both. Um, we get to be an ear to listen, but we also get to knock down a wall for them so they don't have to do it later. It's been a huge blessing. With Samaritan's Purse, y'all, they come here with an awesome attitude. I mean, they enjoying the work. <laughs> and it's like one family. And then they make you, when, you, when they come in, they make you feel part of the family. I mean, it's like awesome. The need is great here. We have thousands of work orders between our four sites. We need volunteers. Without volunteers, our homeowners are not able to get back in their homes. For more information on how to volunteer with us, you can visit SamaritansPurse.org.